Greetings all, and welcome back to the Tech Update, where we give you quick, concise summaries on some of the top reviews covering the most exciting devices out there. Today we're doing an overview of the new Asus ROG Phone 8 Pro, the latest flagship gaming phone from Asus. This phone is totally overkill, and I think there are very few games out there that can truly give it a challenge. But man, do I want one. It would be like owning a sports car. Very impractical, but who would say no if you could buy the latest Lamborghini, Porsche or Ferrari for those of you that used to watch Magnum PI. Let's jump in and see what this bad boy is packing under the hood and if it seems worth the hype. First up, specs. This powerhouse is rocking the newest Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chip that showed roughly 30-50% to 50 better performance than the chip in its predecessor. Along with that you get up to a whopping 24GB of RAM and 1TB of storage on the top model. Yep, you heard right, a full terabyte of space for all your games and media. I would opt for the cheaper model though that has 512GB of storage and 16GB of RAM, as I doubt you will see much performance difference due to the extra 8GB of RAM in games. The display is a 6.78 inch OLED panel with blazing 165Hz variable refresh rates, and it's an HDR10 Plus panel too for vibrant colors. The screen can also achieve 2500 nits of brightness, so you shouldn't have any problems there even when playing games outdoors. For controls, Asus has kept their signature side-mounted USB-C port that can attach accessories like the ActiveX cooling fan. This nifty little accessory gives you two extra triggers and has its own kickstand while still allowing you to plug in a charging cable and your headphones. It loses the bass speaker that the previous version had, but it is much slimmer and more ergonomic. You also get touch-sensitive shoulder triggers for gaming. The whole package is powered by a sizable 5500 mAh battery with support for fast 65W hypercharge. That's for quick juicing up when you need it. The battery provides roughly 3-4 to four hours of gameplay depending on what games you play and roughly 1-2 to two days of normal use. Now, onto the design. Asus seems to have aimed for a more streamlined look this time around. From my research, complaints on the ROG Phone 7 was that it was a bit impractical and Asus has clearly designed this model to be more geared toward day-to-day -to -day use. The ROG Phone 8 Pro is actually lighter and thinner than the previous model, coming in at 9% less weight and 15% thinner profile. For ergonomics, the matte glass back helps with grip, while the subtle interface dot pattern gives it some gaming flair. Most reviewers found it very comfortable to hold thanks to the curved contour, and Asus kept the handy headphone jack at the bottom despite the trend to remove it, so thumbs up there for sure. Back has a 314 mini LED display that integrates seamlessly into the phone and lets you display things like battery life, camera timer countdowns and visualizations when you play music. Some say it does not look as good as the LCD on the previous model, but personally I think it looks awesome, and I love the way it integrates seamlessly into the back of the phone when it's off. Ok, let's talk performance, because this is where the ROG Phone 8 Pro really shines. That bleeding edge Snapdragon chip absolutely crushes it for gaming. No surprises there of course. Reviewers noted buttery smooth frame rates even in very demanding games like Genshin Impact. You also get Asus's Armory Crate app to easily control performance profiles tailored to each game. Options include a Beast X mode that pushes the phone to peak speeds by disabling battery limits and kicking the fans to the max. Good luck trying to melt this thing down. <laughs> Reviewers seem to be split down the middle when it comes down to heat management though. Some say that the unit heats up within 20 to 30 minutes of gameplay and then starts to thermal throttle when playing without the cooler attached. Others don't seem to have a problem. My guess is that the design of the unit will lend itself to getting quite hot depending on what you're playing and in which environment you're playing. The ActiveX cooler that comes included with the Pro solves this dilemma though and all reviews report that it keeps the ROG phone at cool temperatures. Another neat software feature is the AI Grabber, which can actually scan and highlight text while gaming and let you search for it without leaving the game. Super handy for checking guides or looking things up like where to find that resource that you need to craft that next level item. But what about the basics beyond gaming? Well, the camera saw a big upgrade this time around. You get a versatile triple camera setup now with a 50 megapixel main, 13 megapixel ultra wide and a 32 megapixel telephoto. This gives you good quality photos plus the ability to get nice zoomed shots. Asus also added their awesome gimbal stabilization tech to make your videos silky smooth. The one downside that most reviewers were not happy with was the price, as you will be paying roughly $1,199 for the 16GB version 
and $1,499 for the 24 gig version. That is insanely expensive, but sports car type gaming phones do not come cheap. And you would be paying in that range if you were buying a phone like the Samsung S23 Ultra anyway. Another problem is that the unit seems to be out of stock at the moment, as shown on the Asus site and on Amazon. I will leave links in the description below if you are interested in the device and want to keep an eye out for when the device becomes available again. The ROG Phone 8 Pro brings awesome power for gaming in a cleaner package than before. If you want a mobile gaming juggernaut with slick features, this could be it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Personally, I would love to own one if I ever had the scratch. The gamer in me just wouldn't be able to resist. If you're interested in gaming on the go on top tier devices, check out my review on the Ioneo Kuhn by clicking on the link on screen now. That's it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a nice day and I will catch you in the next one.